Hello everyone, welcome back to Fightage channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Former champion of the Absolute Fighting Championship Francis Ngannou said that the World Heavyweight Champion, according to the World Boxing Council Britain Tyson Fury, can cheat by using unsuitable blows in fights. He is very cunning with his blows, I think Fury is cheating. We talk about it with uh, the team and they're like, oh, his gloves are being checked by the UK Athletic Commission. But I'm sure we'll get to the goal, we need to check every glow. If he wants to fight with the bare fists, let's uh, fight with the bare fists. But don't go into the ring wearing gloves that initially hit harder than mine, Nagano said. Former World Heavyweight Champion Deontay Wilder has previously stated that Fury's gloves have uh, no lining. Fury used a traditional horse hair padding. Representatives of the Nevada Athletic Commission confirmed that his gloves are allowed to use. The padding of my gloves is uh, at least 2-3 inches thick, and his gloves look like they have already been used or they were thrown in the trash and then taken out. There is not enough padding in these gloves. The commission tried to convince me that horse hair in gloves can balance for everything because it is actually harder than foam. Wilder said. Former Habibi world champion Anton Joshua and Deontay Wilder plan to hold a separate fight in the next large-scale boxing event in Saudi Arabia. And the American journalist Dan Raphael, who previously reported on these plans, has now named the names of possible rivals of the ex-champions, like the previous show in Rodia, Saudi Arabia. With the participation of Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou, this boxing evening will be organized by the General Director of Entertainment of Saudi Arabia, which is currently negotiating with the representatives of boxers. If agreements are reached, Anthony Joshua will face Swedish heavyweight Otto Wallin in the main fight of the evening, and Deontay Wilder will enter the ring in the main fight of the evening against another ex heavyweight champion, Joseph Parker. Also, on December 23, it is planned to hold several more heavyweight fights and possibly Daniel Dubois and Martin Bacoli will enter the ring in them. Apparently, two-time heavyweight champion Britain Anthony Joshua will perform on December 23 in Radia, Saudi Arabia. International Boxing News named the most likely opponent AJ. According to the source, the most likely opponent of Joshua is the southpaw from Sweden, Otto Wallen. Eventually, negotiations are already in full swing. Today, columnist Dan Rafael said that Wilder and Joshua will fight in December, but not in a face-to-face -face fight. Another large-scale boxing evening is being prepared, within the framework of which several fights will take place in the heavyweight limit. In the main and the so many events, ex-champions Joshua and Wilder should perform. Anthony Joshua and Dante Wilder set to fight different opponents on the same night in Saudi Arabia. For me, well, heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua and Dante Wilder are close to agreeing a two-fight deal which would see them collide in Saudi Arabia next year. AJ and Wilder are reportedly on the brink of finalizing a deal for an exciting showdown in Saudi Arabia. The pair are in discussions over an agreement which would see them fight separate opponents on December 23 in Rodia, with the aim of setting up a face-off between the two heavyweights in 2024, as per a new report from The Star. From Saudi Arabia, the general entertainment is a part of the talks with both teams, along with Queensbury promotions. A number of potential opponents are being considered, and a deal could be agreed as early as this week for the December date. Anthony Joshua, I don't live in people's ideologies. I have my own standards that I set. For a two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua still has plenty of adopters. Those who continue to question Joshua's ability and the tokenists can largely be ignored, but those who wonder whether the 34-year-old still has the hunger to fight his way back to the top of the heavyweight pill may have legitimate concerns. Indeed, there are plenty who speculate as to whether Joshua even still enjoys boxing or whether it is purely a financial enterprise these days. I really do, Joshua told. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.